When you're making your pinhole positive, you're going to make a test strip first. So a test strip is going to help you determine what your exposure time should be for the final positive. So you're going to set things up like this, and you might want to pause the video to write these things down or draw this out on some notes so that you have this in the dark room. Uh, you're going to put a your new piece of paper on the very bottom, and I will show you this in the dark room as well. New piece of paper on the bottom with the shiny side facing up and your negative face down on top. So you can see I have shiny written in the middle there of the negative and the new piece of paper so that those two sides are facing each other. The two shiny sides are against each other, okay, with that negative on top. Remember, it's important that the light pass through the negative in order to make the positive. You're going to have a piece of glass on top of that, and you want to make sure the glass is clean and then a piece of cardboard on top of the glass. And you'll notice I have the cardboard kind of set off a little bit, maybe about an inch off from the uh, edge of the paper. So the glass is covering the whole thing and the cardboard is set off just a little bit uh, so that you can expose one strip at a time. So you will expose one strip, you'll move it over again, and you'll expose the next strip and the next strip and the next strip and make making them all about an inch wide. So what you're going to end up with is your positive, but it's going to have multiple exposure times on it. The last strip that you do will actually be five minute, or five seconds, sorry, and you will have a 10 second one and a 15, 20, maybe 25, and that kind of depends on how wide you make the strips. So the exposure will be dark at one end and light at the other, but that will give us multiple exposure times on one piece of paper so that you're not guessing uh, over and over again trying to find the correct exposure time. This is going to give us pretty wide range of exposures and we will use those as a guide. So we can look at your um, test strip to determine what your time should be. Maybe it ends up being you know, something that needs to be in between 10 and 15 seconds and we might tell you to do something like 13 seconds. So then you would set your timer for 13 and you would expose your final positive for that amount of time.